Hello everyone, my name is Omaima, I'm a software engineer. Today I'm going to tell you about the making push notification service in Cordova app, especially for Android platform. So uh, I'll, I'll start by uh, talking about the service that I find for push notification. It's called OneSignal. OneSignal is a multi-platform uh, for push notifications delivery. It supports web and mobile apps both. OneSignal offers two alternatives for sending push notification. The first one is the dashboard, which I'll talk about it in this tutorial. And the second one is the RESTful Service API. So, to start, I'll talk about the GCM. What's the GCM? The GCM is the Google Cloud Messaging Service for Android platform. The typical flow looks like First, the Android device sends the sender ID to GCM. Then, the GCM server responds with the registration ID for the device. So that one senior service stores this registration ID in its dashboard. To send a push notification, one senior service sends the registration ID as a request for GCM. Finally, GCM responds by a push notification to that specific device. Now let's start by creating an app in Google Console to use the Google Cloud Messaging service. We go to Google Console, then we create a project. So we we'll call it push app demo. Create. So it has been created. Now we check here it is. Now we activate the GCM for Android. Google Google Cloud Messaging Service for Android. Here it is. So activate. Then we will create a REST ID. So ID API key key service. Okay. So this is the API RESTful key. We'll use it later for creating push notification. Let's move on now to the code part. So we'll use the plugin for Cordova. I created a demo app with tabs from Ionic Framework. Let's take a look. It's a really basic one. So now we install the plugin. So we make this command. So let's take the terminal. We go to the app. So now we we'll install the plugin. Patching. And install. So take a look about the code here, available on the documentation of one senior. You will find that it calls the, the, the whole the whole code for the registration, the reception of push notification in the device ready function. In our case, we don't need it. Why? Because simply we are using Ionic framework. We we'll use the Ionic platform ready function to register to our service and manage the reception of the notifications. So let's move on to the code. In one signal, there is three most important functions for using the push notification. The first one is the init. The init function needs the one single app ID and a Google project number, which is the GCM sender ID. With the notification open callback, which is the function called when the notification is received. The second function is set subscription, which takes true or false. The third one is the enable notification when active 
which takes true or false. This function activates the reception of the push notification even when the app is working. To use the one senior service, we create the app first in the dashboard. So we go to one senior. Okay, one senior. We log in. I log in with my GitHub account. So okay. Now I'll create an app. I call it push notification. Here it demands the Google Server API key. So we we'll get this key from the project created in Google Console. This one, copy, paste. Okay, next we'll choose the Conga, Cordova, and Ionic framework. Next, okay, so here's the app ID from one senior, we we'll use it in the init function. Let's move on now to the ionic platform ready function. We'll make our code. So I'll paste it from here. Okay. Okay. I'll make the one senior app ID here. This one. And the Google project number, we will find it in the Google console. Okay, so we we'll go to our projects, push notice at demo. So this is the ID. We copy it and paste it. Okay, now the init function is ready. Uh, here we have the callback function. Uh, there is a console.log. I'll so I'll change it by an alert. This function is fired when the notification is received. So notification is received. Okay. You can change it. Okay, now the, the next function is the window the window dot plugins dot one signal dot set subscription subscription true. Okay. And the final one is the one signal The one signal uh, enable notification when active. So okay. now our code is ready to receive the notification. Okay, so Cordova run and receive the application and in the device so installing wait and launching the application so here it is Let's try now to send a push notification to this application. So we'll go to the dashboard. Here we can find that there is a user registered, new message. The title, we write push notice at demo. And the text is hello. This is a test for push Okay, preview and so and here with the push notification received. If we click on the notification, we will see the notification alert that we created in the callback function.
okay i hope you enjoyed the video i'll see you in the next tutorial with the next part of this interesting service with the restful api till then keep coding goodbye